So my friend Beth works at a chocolate factory. It's expensive, it's <coughs> £6.50 for one bar. £6.50 yes! for one bar it's of chocolate. chocolate! Does this not fulfill all of your Barbie Mermaidia dreams? The CEO came in one day and tried to kiss me, but we're not going to talk about that. much happier in here as you can see it's getting some baby ones it was due a new home so it's 5 p.m i just finished work just wanted to switch the camera on and see where it goes i don't know where this video is going it could go anywhere my friend beth is coming over a couple weeks ago we did a pottery class together it wasn't a pottery class it was pottery painting i can barely remember mine i got a cup and i put fish inside like a painted fish inside of it so you're gonna see that today okay this is what we're cleaning first it's a mess because we recently hosted a party here, so please excuse how disgusting it is. We just haven't bothered to clean since. By the way, I recently got Spotify. I've been holding out on getting Spotify. So expensive, blah, blah, blah. I'm converted. I'm a changed woman. I've been listening to the same playlist of my top 20 songs for the past five years. And within three days of getting Spotify, I found at least four of my new favorite songs. It's insane how well it knows me. Like, how does it know? From an app designer perspective, is there like a setting where it serves you up songs of a certain beats per minute? It can't just be based on like pure preference. Oh God, these old bones, am I right ladies? So my friend Beth works at a chocolate factory. She'll come over after she's finished work. See these? things. This isn't looking too good. She's struggling. She's a little bit pale. She's a little bit droopy. A little bit sickly looking. I don't really know what they need. I was under the impression it was a biodiverse system in there, airlock from the rest of the world, but does she need oxygen? Does she need me to open this sometimes? Does she need water? To help me save her life. Potion pot. Uh, just work. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Yeah. That looks so I come in sometime when you're working. Definitely. I'm in like every day. Okay. Yeah, pop in. So, what's your favorite thing about working at the chocolate factory so far? I love making hot chocolates. Is there a cafe bit as well? Yeah, like we oh. sit in, but it's only like two chairs. Do you have any regulars that know you yet? Oh, yeah, there's one guy that comes in but he puts on an American accent. I'm just trying my new favorite chocolate. I just <laughs> went in today and I love it so much. <laughs> and he comes in like maybe like four times a week. Look at him a loyalty card. I know, actually. <laughs> and it's expensive, it's £6.50 <clears throat> for one bar. £6 yes! One it's bougie chocolate. chocolate! That's why I'm like coming to get samples. <laughs> Good morning, it's the next day. I wanted to show you the pottery in daylight. There it is. I feel like I'm drinking from the holy grail. Also, does this not fulfill all of your Barbie Mermaidia dreams? Look at that, that's stunning. Last night Beth came over and she said that it would be really cool if I came over to the chocolate factory today at lunchtime to meet her on her shift. So we're gonna do that at lunch, but I have to fit in a bunch of chores around that. Obviously I've got work and then I've also got to clean the office because it is a tip, it is a mess. It is a den. And my sister stayed over recently and we put the sofa into a futon for her to sleep on and I just never put it back for some reason. It's so simple, it's so easy, so it keeps getting pushed back. And the desk is also a mess. Like I've been working from the lounge room for the past three days because there's not enough space to put my laptop on the desk. Get a grip, Lily. So this is what we're working with.
A friend recently asked me how I deal with like disrespect, like a friend or a colleague in the workplace saying or doing something that doesn't really sit right with me. And it kind of got me thinking, it's been on my mind for a while. Like how do you respond to someone who crosses like a clear boundary that you set? Or how do you even know how to establish that boundary in the first place? Like how do you know what doesn't sit right with you in the first place? Because I feel like I used to not be in tune with what didn't sit right with me. So I couldn't even create boundaries in the first place. What is a red flag? You kind of have to learn that through trial and error. Sometimes I look back and I just think like, how did you let yourself get treated like that? But that's coming from the other side of it. That's when you know your boundaries and that's when you know what you don't accept or tolerate. You can give yourself some concessions when you're young. I'm young and naive and I didn't know, blah, blah, blah. But when you start hitting like 23, 24, 25, it just starts to get embarrassing. Like why, why are you still going back to that ex? Or why are you still letting all your colleagues and workmates make that joke about you? There should be a time in your life where the cycle stops repeating. You owe it to yourself to create the life that you want. You owe it to yourself to stand up for yourself and to be an advocate for yourself in those situations. How many times are you gonna let yourself be disrespected by the people that you keep in your life? How many times? If you were a friend or if you were an onlooker, you know the advice you'd give yourself but because you're in the situation you're making all the excuses under the sun for yourself all the excuses under the sun for the person who's crossing your boundary oh they didn't mean it oh it was just a joke like baby girl be honest like for instance my ex boss at my other company was really like just an old-fashioned boys club i'm the boss you're the subordinate and it was really only the male colleagues and male friends who would get promoted and he used to say horrible things to me like he'd make me question my job security to quote keep me on my toes. This isn't Tinder, this is my job. One time he randomly called me when I was working from home, which he never did to anyone, by the way. And as soon as he got on the call, he was like, ha just making sure you weren't out shopping. And it wasn't in a ha funny way, it was in a I own you way, which I didn't really appreciate and I didn't laugh at. And he got very annoyed that I didn't laugh at his silly little joke. But I stood my ground and at that, at that time, it felt like such a, such a rebellious thing to not give in and laugh at his joke just to appease him. And he got annoyed and he said, don't be like that. It doesn't suit you. It doesn't suit me. What doesn't suit me? Laughing at all your jokes like you're the most hilarious man in the world. The jokes that are at my expense. Like what am I supposed to say to that? I did quit not long after that. Totally not exacerbated by the fact that the CEO came in one day and tried to kiss me, but we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, the point of what I'm trying to say is stop ignoring that sinking feeling like in your heart and in your gut when something doesn't sit right with you. Stand up for yourself, even if it means just holding your ground in a simple way, like not laughing at the joke. <laughs> We teamed up with the bakery 287 and they use their croissant crumb in the chocolate and it's got a nice little crunch to it, it's really good. Yellow cup, you <laughs> <laughs> Give us a marketing skill about why the chocolate's so good. So the chocolate's so good because it's fresh from the cacao bean. <laughs> you can't get more chocolate than this chocolate. And that's, that's business, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to work, but I will see you later. I really want to put out a video at least once a week, but it's kind of hard. Obviously around a nine to five. And the fact that a lot of my videos take a long time to film and edit. For instance, the one I just posted, a project of making an app, like that took a week to edit. I'm gonna have to make more videos like this where it's just my day. And if you don't like it, too bad, because that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm.